week nine concludes with um, another pretty, another self-contained episode. And um, this was one that it aired the day after the previous episode, but it really has nothing to do with the previous episode, although there is one somewhat reference to it. Everyone is giving gifts to Jock at the beginning of the episode, and Sue Ellen gives him some antique, and he asks, What the hell is this? <laughs> it's, I mean... I know some older people that are like that. So I've always liked that moment. And it reminds me of the older people in my life. Um, yeah, this is the first episode to really heavily focus on Sue Ellen. And she did a wonderful job in this episode. I was incredibly impressed. The storyline is really out there. This is going to be true a lot for a lot of these really early episodes in this season. Um, yeah, Sue Ellen uh, really wants to have a baby, and Jr. is not willing to sleep with her anymore. He's just going off being crazy with pretty much everyone else but his wife. And she... Uh, goes out of her way to try and adopt, but then there's a... She can't find a newborn. And then eventually she... Uh, it's called Black Market Baby because she is able to find someone who's going to uh, give birth. And um, she demands a lot from Sue Ellen, and they have this really odd relationship. Very, very strange. And, um, what's his face? I don't know. Uh, Pam finds out about this, and uh, she doesn't say anything about it, although Sue Ellen completely blames her when it all falls through. And Miss Ellie is just all in support of it. JR finds out. And as always, he puts a stop to it. Now, JR is putting a stop to it comes pretty abruptly. It happens really fast in this episode. And that is a complaint I will have about this episode, is I want there to be more of a buildup. But then again, this was in the really early days of the show that everything kind of got resolved by the end of the episode. I mean, was it better than the other episode that happened this week? Yeah, both of them had problems with how they ended, but it, it, yeah, it was better than the other episode in week nine. Um, yeah, I don't have much more else to say. I mean, uh, Linda Gray was a standout, and it's really the first time that uh, an entire episode has been primarily focused on her, and she obviously becomes a major, major role in the show. And, um, yeah. Am I looking forward to uh, the next week's episode? Uh, yeah, am I looking forward to week 10? Hmm. Uh... Yes, kind of. It's It's been difficult to sit through these early episodes um, in the way that they were aired because uh, the show is still... <sighs> it's really finding its footing. They don't really know who they are at the moment. They're, they're just... They're, they're struggling right now. And again, it's disappointing because the two-part season opener for the first entire full season uh, was marvelous. It was an extraordinary two-parter. And these follow-up episodes have been... have given much... There's much more to be desired from these follow-up episodes since then. Yeah, I hope you guys will stick with me and... Um, We'll catch another episode this Wednesday. 
Um, and yeah, so just keep coming back to South Fork.